Uh, what kind of week so, did you have? I have a question mm -hmm. for everyone. And the question is, do you really, really want to taste it? I am, of course, referring to the the spectacular dance number at the start of the new TV show Peacemaker starring the John Cena. Okay. See, I don't there's not many things I want to taste, so that's a that but yeah. I've I've heard of and seen clips from Peacemaker and it seems to be like really funny. Um and John Cena is apparently at his best playing a complete moron. Yeah. Um, and I think perhaps I would have figured this out if I saw the Suicide Squad reboot movie they did with uh, the James Gunn, but I didn't watch it. But I hear you know what? This is really good. That's that's fine that you didn't see that. They they recapped that like like no eh, problem. I heard, I heard it was fun anyway, though. I still want to see it. You know. Uh the the new Suicide Squad Squad uh, bu 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 the new movie that they put out was a dramatic improvement over the first movie that they put out. Yep. And, like, it's the same fucking cast in a lot of cases. And you're like, wow, writer-director has it's, all the power in the world. It's, it's the difference between James Gunn and, and whoever they fucking did the first one. Yeah. So, Peacemaker yeah. is stellar. Uh, me and Paige blew through the entire thing yesterday, which is wild because Paige doesn't binge things the mm. way that, you know, you or I do. But she was like, oh, no, I want more. And they uh, just announced season is... two. Yeah, they did. Um, it's, it's really, really excellent. Like, it is, it is as the James Gunn funny that you would expect, but... DC let him get away with a lot more than I'm gonna guess Marvel gets lets him get away yeah. for. So like, I did not. I saw one a... bit. I saw one bit, and, I, and this is all I know about the show. But it's one bit with him talking to like I guess his like you know his sidekick or whatever. Yeah. And like they they go off on this whole Louis C.K. bit. And... Oh yeah. <laughs> that was like. This is fucking great. <laughs> I, I I did not expect, like, in the first episode to get a full head-to-toe side profile of John Cena having sex with some broad screaming freedom at the top of his lungs. Wow. Wow. Like, they, they don't do... It, it's, it's the whole HBO trifecta of swearing violence and mandatory boobs so is it basically like he played the role of like uh of of this of the super idiot on the team and then it went over so well that they said fuck it give him a show i wouldn't call it super idiot uh it's not as clear in the original film that he is like an absolute moron uh it be when when he's given um when he's given like 15 minutes in a scene to just talk shit, it becomes way, way more obvious that he's like an idiot. Okay. And I have to say, maybe this is a personal thing, but I felt very, uh, it's a bit cliched, but I felt very uh, uh, heard. I felt very seen watching this show as somebody who has complained about comic books my whole life. Uh, you get a scene where people are screaming about how Batman sucks ass because he won't murder people. And you get a scene in which they're discussing, dude, I read on Facebook that Superman loves to eat poop. Yeah, okay. And I'm, and I'm, I'm sitting there and my eyes are bordering on bulging out of my fucking head because mm -hmm. I feel like I wrote it. Yeah. So it, between that, it's I feel like uh, I've seen that and other stuff recently that sort of indicate that DC's willing to just like take the piss out of their own, you know, oh, yeah. licenses and like have their villains just shit all over their heroes and and, and be so, irreverent about it. I'll I'll use an example because there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of very self-deprecating like comic humor in there, but the one that stands out to me extraordinarily strong is. Um, 
they're complaining the 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 grunts are complaining that they got teamed up with peacemaker because he's a moron and they start listing off fucking losers in the dc universe mm -hmm. that they would have rather been paired up with and the list and just keeps going the end of the list is i would rather have been fucking paired up with batmite <laughs> and the 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 thing is it that batmite's fucking z minus the 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 way the reason that it works is that peacemaker doesn't know who batmite is mm -hmm. and then they have to explain to the camera that batmite is a two foot tall interdimensional being that quote unquote stands batman and like comic books are fucking stupid mm -hmm. they're fucking so stupid they're so silly and it's nice to see a bunch of people sitting around like normal people sitting around going god damn it this shit is so fucking stupid yeah. Because it's silly. It's it, silly. It is. In the fact, well, the thing is, is that it's like comic book characters are the closest thing to the ancient tradition of like the oral um, hero passed down, yeah. you know, through different uh, people and different families and tribes and such. Because every um, like the best writers' greatest ideas and the worst writers' t most terrible ideas are all simultaneously shared and canonical in the lifetime yeah, of a character right. you know including uh, resets also, and, and retcons and undoes you know it's also really uh the the cast is really great uh they got robert kirkpatrick in to play peacemaker's dad and i don't know anything about peacemaker at all mm. in the comics i've never heard of him um uh but robert kirkpatrick uh if you're not familiar with him he was the terminator in terminator 2 he was mm. the the liquid man um yeah, that man's whole acting career has been that he looks scary as shit. Yeah, he continues to look fucking scary as shit. Good good job, dude. It's terrifying. Yeah, T-1000 face. Um, mm -hmm. And they took a bunch of the actors from the last Suicide Squad movie. Like a bunch of the... the I mean, Robert Patrick? There's no Kirk? Okay, Robert Patrick. My you're thinking... You're mixing up Chris Kirkpatrick from... Uh, ah, there's too many. There's yeah. too many... Uh, um... Yeah. They, they took a bunch of the, the, like, bordering on extras from the last film and made them the, the stars of the TV show, which was a nice little piece of continuity. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's, it's really great. Uh, it's genuinely funny. It's a lot more – this is going to sound really, like, wankery, but it's a lot more emotional than I would have expected. Uh, Vigilante is – I don't know. Is Vigilante an existing character in DC? I genuinely don't know. Man. I will look over at my TV screen as somebody says, yes, yeah, he you, is. You got to okay. I can I can give you the dirt on, like, fucking maybe Defenders and, like, Blue Beetle every once in a while. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be the one for the, a lot of uh, the obscure. Vigilante is my favorite character. And... I was explaining, like, Paige was like, oh, really? I was like, I explained to her, Willie, do you remember many years ago we did a Punisher LP? Mm -hmm. And one of the questions I asked was, what happens to Frank when there's no more real crime? Mm -hmm. Does he just start blowing away jaywalkers? Mm -hmm. And the answer is, here's Vigilante. Okay. Here's, here's the character that will throw drug dealers and and murderers and graffiti artists into the same pile okay and i love this dude i love him he's great uh what a great show you should really watch it was it 10 episodes one season it is eight episodes okay um yeah i just like more more than anything more than anything, the overwhelming feeling I got was like, yes, this is a comic book show about comic book characters in which it fully accepts the total absurdity of just how silly 
living in a world with Superman is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, and like Peace I don't know if you ever seen him Peacemaker's costume is terrible. Yeah, no, it looks it looks like uh one of those like old like patriotic like goofy oh, things. Oh, it it looks like shit. Um and yeah, and no, it's the, great. I mean, for a while the the like the the like what is the fallout of like the the golden age mentality of superheroes has been like a thing in, in comics for quite a while but like taking it to the extremes and again allowing villains to just completely like take the piss out of the your your ips and, and talk shit about them in that way is pretty funny um i will say that like it, it's good to hear that this is good because john cena needed a win badly uh-huh he needed a dub real real bad and well this is technically like his one. second dub because he was great in in the movie uh, suicide squad yeah all right uh yeah turns out uh given the right role he is much like batista an excellent actor um to the point where i'm like rock what is going on i'm seeing a bunch of other big wrestler mans become big wrestler actors and I've seen Rock in a bunch of movies, and he needs to stop. 